Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars 1 Dash review on my channel. And today, I am reviewing another Piston Cup racer from the original movie, and this racer is Eugene Kowalski, number 36, sponsored by Tanko. In the original movie in Cars 1, Eugene Kowalski is one of the 36 racers who race in the Piston Cup in the Motor Speedway of the South at the beginning of the film. And he was obviously a background character, never speak in the movie. And he was one of the racers who actually did get lucky and avoided the Dinosaur Saw Mine crash that Chick Hicks caused. You know, that huge crash where Chick Hicks bumps Winford Bradford Rutherford and then he gets hit by Marie Cutchburn. You know, that wreck. Eugene Carressi actually avoided the wreck. Like, if you see in the beginning of the film, or if, well, if you seen, like, the scene where, like, Bob Cut, where Bob Cutlass is like, oh, a huge crash behind the leaders, you can see that Eugene Karreski avoided the crash, and the scenes where he was in the crash, where he was involved, those do not count, because it was just a goof, and, like, he, he actually isn't involved with the crash, although we do see him for some reason in the crash after we see, like, the fans, like, horrified of what, at the crash. Like, we see, like, Eugene Carter-Rusky right here in the crash where James Cleaner is about to smash into him, and then went like this, and in a few scenes, and we also see him go upside down a few times in the crash. But those do not count. He actually avoided the crash in the movie. But the scenes where he was involved, those do not count because it was a goof. And yeah, and and Eugene Carvereski actually did continue the race, obviously. Whereas Chuck Armstrong definitely didn't continue. And yeah. Now that's pretty much it for the appearance. Dacast releases, Eugene Carvereski has been released in many multi-packs, many launchers. He was released in the ginormous 36 Motor Speed with the South multi-pack. He was released as a rubber tire. And he was also released as a single in the Piston Cup series in 2016. And that was pretty much it. Now, hopefully Eugene Carvereski will be getting a re-release soon. And hopefully he'll be released next year or in like a 11 pack or something or in a 2 pack. That will be really cool if they did that along with Johnny Blamer. Johnny Blamer hasn't been released in a while. Same with Missy Motorcraft and Ernie Gearson. Like they haven't been released in a while. Hopefully they'll all be getting a re-release. And I think they're all... I think Eugene Kowalski, Ernie Gearson, Missy Motorcraft, and Johnny Blamer are the rarest Cars 1 racers. Well, besides Dale Jr. and that guy Car, those two are definitely the more rarer ones. But the other four I mentioned, they haven't been released in a while for some reason. And yeah. And for the history of Tanko. Eugene Carvereski got replaced by Red Beaker, the veteran racer in Cars 3, and then later on in Cars 3, Reb gets replaced by Rich Mixon, the next-gen Tanko racer who raced in the 4 to 500, and we also see him at Driven to win as a playable character. And yeah, that was really it for the history of Tanko. Now, unfortunately, Eugene Carvereski never had a crew chief release. His hauler was planned to be released, but it got canceled. Although his pity, Jerry Drive Chain, did get released, luckily. And unfortunately, his diecast isn't accurate to the movie. Because in the movie, he had white trim around the rims, but it's not present on the diecast. And it isn't in the in the mini adventure or in the micro drifter version either but it is there in the movie i don't know why they didn't add it on the diecast and this 
the most like like many racers and accuracies ha are the wheels like Chuck Armstrong didn't have blue wheels on this die gas Rusty Cornfield didn't have purple wheels on this die gas Kevin Reese entire didn't have pink trim around the rims on this die gas and all that stuff but yeah anyways let's get on to the review of Eugene Carver Rusky as you can see its main colors are pink and white and this model is based off of the model that Clive Scruggs has, the Leakless Racer. And he has the um, windows right here, and you can see through them a little bit. And yeah, he has the window bars right here, the extra window right here, but it's pink. And he's number 36 right here. That's a really cool font. Like, there's pink on the main part. And then around it has, like, a... It's white. And then around the, the white is black. And then around the black is white. And you can see that he has pink rims, light your tires... Tanko logo right here, and you can see that he does have the gas cap. He has this pretty cool looking like blackish stripe or blackish gray number 36 on the side right here. And he also has many continuing sponsors, and we all know what they read, just like on the other racers. It reads Piston Cup Nitro Aid. Revolting, Opting Game, Mood Springs, Vitaline, No Stall, Gas Gets, Gas Sprint, Easy Idol, RPM, Real Torquey Pistons, Leakless, Retread, and Clutch Aid. And as you can see, this main top part is pink, and the side right here is pink, and there's um, a blackish gray right here. And then this part right here, and on the front is white. There's number 36 on one of the headlights. He has the grill right here. He has a determined, angry expression, just like Clob Scrubs and many other racers. And here's Krusty Rotor. They have the same as that expression. And he also has the Tanko logo on the hood, which is a sponsor. Smooths upset tanks. So it, like, smooths the tanks. It smooths upset tanks, and that's what the tanko sponsor. It that's how it works, and it's like car medicine. And you can see it's like the um, tank thing right here, and it reads tanko, and it's written in white. There's white around the pink can thing, and he also has a different kind of pink a different shade of pink on the eyelid so you can see it's more of a like a vibrant pink right here whereas the rest of the pink pink is uh, like a lightish lavender color and as you can see the um yeah compared with the other pink racers like kevin racing tire they both have pink and white same thing with Krusty Rotor, and yeah, he has a pink spoiler. It's in the little. It's a little bit of a different color than the actual pink color. It's a different shade of pink. And there's the, his trunk. A there's eight circles right here. Tanko smooths offset tanks. And he also has four circles right here to keep the hood in place. And the other side of the decals is, exact, is exactly the same. The base, the right here, the exhaust pipes, Disney Pixar, made in China, Mattel. And on the back, there is the circles right here. And the SS tail is number 36 on one of them. Tank goats, boost upset tanks. And the bumper right here is white. And yeah, that's all for the review of Eugene Carbareski number 36, sponsored by Tanko. 
And now let's down to the comparison. First one I'm going to compare them is Crusty Rotor. As you can see, they are pretty similar. Like, they're both pink. And they have um, white on their paint job. And... Yeah, although the pink is definitely different. Crusty Rotor's pink is more on the, I guess, lavender purple side. Whereas Eugene Carver Rusty's pink is definitely way more pinker. And here is Kevin Ray's entire compared with him. Since they're both pink as well and they have yellow. I mean, white. Eugene Carver Rusty doesn't have yellow, but Kevin does. And obviously they're different models because Kevin Race and Tyre's model is based off the model or the model of Aiken Ashler, whereas Eugene's model is the same as that model as Claude Scruggs and um, many others like Krusty Rotor. And that's all for the review of Eugene Carvareski. And here he is with the uh, the main three racers, Light and McQueen, Chick Hicks, and Strip Weathers. And yeah, so anyways guys, that's all for today's video, and if you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you in the next video on the review of the view scene racer named Ryan Shields number 39. So anyways guys, bye now.